credit to Maine uh, for the victory. Obviously, they came in here and, and uh, for them to um, overcome a 21-point deficit within the first five, ten minutes of the game, five minutes or so. Um, and to be able to rip off 31 unanswered points, um, you know, obviously uh, a lot of credit goes to to Coach H and, and their their team uh, for their resiliency. But um, you know, honestly, uh, you know, very very tough loss for us. Um, very tough pill to swallow. Um, you know, I talked to the team afterwards that um, you know, obviously we we all played a role in that in that loss. Um, but you know the. The situations that that we put our defense in in short fields, namely the the fourth down, um, you know, I felt like we needed some juice, um, needed some offense. Uh, you know, our offense get that push, and we were. Um, I wanted to, to 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 give our guys an opportunity to go out and earn that fourth that fourth down conversion. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, that was a call that was uh, that was detrimental uh, to the overall course of the game. There's no doubt about it. And uh, you know, so I told the team, you know, obviously that's that's one that 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 I didn't put them in the best position possible. Um, and uh, you know it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. And uh, you know this is uh, th- the key for us going forward is that we we stay together. Um, you know we got ten football games left. Certainly there were some some bright spots. You know Garland of France is, is a definite bright spot. Um, defense played well in fits. Um, but we can't we can't give our defense uh, that short of a field and, and ask them to to come up big. Obviously. So um, with that I'll open up for questions. Yes, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, uh, almost unexplainable, the, the, the factors that led to it. Um, you know, it was just kind of piece by piece. We got a little bit out of rhythm offensively. Um, one of our goals and our, and our, you know, our, um, our keys to victory offensively was we wanted to hit four shot plays in this game, four down the field shot plays. Um, and we had, we had obviously the opening play of the game uh, offensively. Uh, and, and we did, you know, take a few other shots down the field. We wanted to be aggressive because we knew that Maine was going to be a blitzing outfit. Um, and, uh, and and obviously we just connect the dots in some of those situations. I feel like you know we're close to blowing the thing out to, to 28, 28 nothing uh, right after the twenty one uh, nothing lead. So uh, we didn't we didn't make a you know we didn't connect the dots on those plays, and um, you know we let them obviously hang around. And that really the the sack fumble re- recovery for a touchdown coming out of the half that's that's a huge momentum swing. You know, he was a little banged up coming into the game. Uh, was a little limited, obviously, in some of his mobility that he did so well against Wisconsin. Um, you know, and so he's, he's being evaluated, um, you know, for an upper upper body injury um, after that that last play that, that we, uh, you know, before the field goal. So um, we'll, we'll just kind of see what happens going forward. Is that why you all did use him as much in the running game? Yeah, you know, I think it, 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 it played a role. In it for sure, um, you know, part, partly was was predicated by the defense and what they were doing, but it did play a role. Um, you know how that, um, you know that shoulder would hold up. We didn't want him to be, um, you know, quite as um, as big of a part of the, um, you know, the running attack uh, as as he was against Wisconsin. What caused Lucky to become less involved after his first touchdown? Um, you know, some of it was. Um, you know, just dictated by coverage. Um, you know, we, we wanted to be really intentional with giving him opportunities. Uh, we called, um, you know, a couple other shot plays that, uh, you know, coverage didn't allow it to happen. There was one that was a, cross, a deep crossing route in the third quarter, I believe. Um, you know, and, and the coverage obviously was different than, um, you know, than, than what we what we anticipated seeing based off the percentages. Um, you know, we just, uh, you know, we, 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 we had uh, some stuff dialed up for him in the third down game. And, and obviously, three of 16 on third downs, um, that'll get you beat every time. Um, you know, I, I'll say this. Um, you know, the group, the group of young men in that locker room, um, they're going to stick together. Um, you know, we obviously have to put blinders on. Um, we're going to have to, uh, you know, I talked specifically about, you know, the most important thing is, is the, the opinions in that room, in that locker room. Um, you know, it's just your teammates and, and caring for each other. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, I think part of it is, is, is that we got to be honest with ourselves. I have to be honest with them, uh, both good and bad, and, and even self-reflective a little bit. Uh, and I think, you know, that, that we're, we're a team and we're a culture where, where honesty is obviously a big part of that. And I think that's going to be, um, you know, what's going to help us bounce back from this game. And I, I fully do expect us to bounce back from this loss. I do. Uh, I know nobody else out there does right now. Um, but I feel like the, the 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 WKU football program that took the field and um, and and exploded uh, in that first five minutes like we haven't seen probably in, in quite some time. Um, I think that's who we are. Um, we got to maintain that and channel that. And um, 
and, and, and keep the keep the gas pedal down for four quarters. That was that was obviously apparent. Um, once we got up twenty one nothing, you know, um, you know, we, we we took the gas pedal off a little bit from uh you know, that's all the way, you know, from top to bottom. I'll have to watch the tape. Um, you know, the the one that just kind of jumps out, obviously, is that um, you know we gotta we gotta we gotta protect the protect the quarterback. Um, we gotta keep our our leader upright, and uh, you know I think Drew, it, you know, and our quarterbacks are a part of that too. It's not just the offensive line; it's it's all of us. Um, you know, it's being being more vertical in the pocket as opposed to being backwards. Um, there were times where I think just from the sideline, without seeing the coach's film, you know, we gotta make sure we're vertical in the pocket, but. Um, you know, we obviously got to we got to we got to be able to run the ball in between the tackles. Uh, that was um, obviously disappointing. Uh, you know, I thought we ran the ball well in, in between the tackles against Wisconsin's front, uh, and 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 honestly, we, we came into this expecting Maine to blitz a whole lot. Uh, in that first half, you know, there's really only seven uh, seven pressures that we saw, um, so it wasn't really um, you know a ton of pressure. It wasn't a ton of blitz. Um, we just got to we got to be better on our combinations, and and we got to got to make sure that everything's tied in well together. I don't. I don't think so. I, I really don't. I mean, I'm sure it feels that way when you're at the game. Um, but uh, I think that even at the end of the game, I think that there was an, a definite, incre- there was an a incredible desire and will to win the game, and uh, and we saw that. And obviously, Garland the France, um, you know, was a was a big part of that. Um, you know, him being able to take that uh, to the, you know to a, a, an explosive play. I thought that our our players believe they're going to win the game, uh, and I fully believe that that, that they expected to. You know, it was a, obviously Drew got a little banged up on that previous play. Um, you know, obviously you kind of you get one play to, to be able to throw out a potentially another quarterback. Um, you know, Ryan's going in um, off of uh, pregame warmups. Uh, his range was was really between you know kind of the 33 and the 36. I mean, he he really um, I felt like he could he could pipe one. Um, really, the 30 and 35 was the biggest. Uh, that's where we felt he had an opportunity to to put it through the pipes and. You know, snap was high. Um, you know, uh, I thought Kraus did a nice job getting the ball down, but um, we have to look at the film and see what didn't hold up. I think I think our t- our our operation time was slow because of uh, of a high snap.